This is uh, another video in the Fundamentals of Electrical Circuits. This one uh, focuses on a concept of differential mode versus uh, <clears throat> common mode. And, and what does that mean? Basically, we are looking, we, are, we will look at this uh, uh, circuit we have up here and we're going to define a voltage which is basically the difference between the two inputs, so VB Mine VB is the one that coming to the positive side, VA is the one coming into the negative side. So we're going to do a subtraction of those two and we're going to refer to as differential mode VM voltage. And then we're going to uh, say that it's going to be a common voltage that both of these are getting, which is going to be roughly uh, equal to V. V plus VA divided by 2, and that quantity we're going to refer to at common mode, uh, mode CM voltage. Okay. Now, if you think about it, when we are transmitting data between two systems, these two wires are going to run next to each other, usually even maybe a twisted pair or some other form. And, and the common and the differential mode is typically what carries the signal, the information we want to get across. So that's usually referred to as a signal. And if the value that are common, both of those signals go up and down with that voltage, that usually is either the noise or something that we don't want, noise being this, the voltage that we don't is not meaningfully come from, let's say, the both wires are running next to a generator. As the generator comes on, the input voltage into it. And that's really the noise. That's the noise is kind of a derogatory term in electrical engineering, referring to the voltages that we don't like. Signal, we refer to the stuff we like. So as, as the story kind of goes, we really would like to, our goal is to really minimize the effect of common mode because that's the stuff we don't want and we want to maximize the effect of differential mode those are with carry information useful signal for us so if we carry this just a little bit forward and rewrite and rewriting this then we, we can rewrite VA as being equal to VCM minus one half um, times VBM uh, if you want to know what VA is in terms of the common mode and noise voltage, or VB is equal to VCM plus one half VDM. It, when we do that, we can actually reconfigure this sig signal circuit with one that is almost the same, <clears throat> except instead of using VA and VB, would use this VCM, VDM quantity that we have referred to. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace VA and VB with these two quantities that we just figured out right here. So let's go over there and see what that would look like. <clears throat> so if we were to replace VA and VB, we would have talked about on the VA side, we're going to have VCM, as you can see, minus VDM, if you like. And then in this side, we're going to have VCM plus VDM going down there. So literally, we replace VA and VB with this model. This model is very useful to us because, remember, um, as we were uh, talking about it, we refer to the common mode as the noise, the stuff we want to get, have minimum effect on our circuit. And this, these VDM ones are the differential mode or the signal, which we kind of like to maximize their impact on our signal, uh, on our, uh, on our uh, output. So both of these are half of the signal this way, half of the signal that way, okay? So we can apply, uh, this is more or less a differential amplifier. We can use the relationship we've had earlier and we'll end up with V out being equal to uh, this quantity. You can apply it and this is basically applying ideal up amp model to this to solve it. So we got this thing and um, and that is great uh, by substituting what we had for VA, VB in terms of VCM and uh, uh, VDM. What we're going to find out is that this equation can be rewritten in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, VCM and VDM. 
again, just, just to emphasize the idea we had come up with, this is the, going to be the, uh, the signal that we want to maximize, and this is going to be the uh, noise when we want to minimize. Okay. What we're going to say is, so basically the output is going to be this quantity times the noise plus this quantity times the signal. So this, this quantity, this is going to be referred to as the gain of the common mode, right? That's the common mode voltage gets multiplied by. This is going to be referred to as the gain of differential mode, great. So a shorthand, we're going to write it like this. Now, having said that, um, we know that our goal is to make sure output has minimum effect on this. So always our goal is to basically minimize. Our goal is to minimize the gain of noise and maximize the effect of signal on the output. So we want to maximize this gain and we want to more or less eliminate or minimize this gain. Okay. So, so how, how are we going to minimize this? Well, if you want to minimize this, the easiest, I mean, the absolute minimum would be when the numerator goes to zero, can be a smaller than zero, right? So if you were to do that, then um, let's see what, what happens. So if we, if we were able to, if, if, we, if in, in the ideal situation, uh, we were to say, okay, we're going to make ACM equal to zero. So we're going to make all the common mode noise gain go to zero. So output absolutely going to be only dependent on signal, ideal situation. If that's the case, then we find out that RA, RD becomes, because that's going to go to zero. So that's going to be equal to RB. RC. Okay. And now if, uh, if, if we make something similar like RA equal to RC and RD equal to RB, um, that, that will take care of it, right? So if we, if we, if we assume that, let's say, RA is equal to RC and make R, <clears throat> RD equal to RB, then we have achieved our goal here. Great. So now let's go ahead and see if we were to do that, and this is an ideal situation, we do that, that means the output of this amplifier will result in cleaning up, and we will have basically our V out equal to RB over RA times V in. So this would be an ideal case where, where this is the underlying assumption, if that is true, then in this environment, we're only going to have our output depend on um, VDM. So that's great. And well, that's perfect. But that's very nice. But uh, the fact that the reality not always lets us be able to select those resistor values to do that. So in the industry, what they have, they have a measure of how good your uh, amplifier is. Goodness meaning that how much of the noise do you reject? and how much of the signal do you pass through? And, and they, use a, they use a quantity, they refer to it as a common mode rejection, which is noise rejection ratio. So basically what they say, what, and this is abbreviated usually as CM, our, our common mode, mode rejection ratio, and that's basically the magnitude of the gain of a differential mode, the good gain and the signal gain over a gain of the noise. And that's a goodness of, uh, of our uh, uh, filter. Of course, in the above case where we assumed ACM goes to zero, CCMR is going to be infinite. In reality, is that's not going to happen. Um, most of the time, this is just a number that shows the ratio. So... If it's larger, it's better. If it's smaller, it's not as good.